Hello guys, have you been guessing where you can get the best movie recap? Well, it's here on Riveted. Hello beautiful people. Welcome to another fun time here with me on Riveted. Today, I will be giving a recap on the movie About Time. About Time is a British romantic comedy drama. It was released in the United Kingdom on September 4th, 2013. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and turn on the notification bell. You know how we roll. Grab a pack of popcorn or soda and let's get started. The movie began on New Year's Eve. Tim's family had a party with lots of people around, but Tim didn't seem to be having fun. His friend accidentally crashed into a table with drinks while dragging Tim. The following morning, James, Tom's father, sent for Tim. He revealed to Tim that at the age of 21, every man in the family could travel in time to the past. Tim thought it was a weird joke and asked how that was possible, and if it was, how he would do it. James explained to Tim that all he needed was to find a dark place like a cupboard, clench his fist, think of the moment he is going to, and he'll find himself there. Tim left his father's office and tried it out. He traveled back in time to the New Year's Eve party, marveled at the outcome. He avoided his friend's crash into the table with drinks and kissed Polly after the countdown to the New Year. His father asked him what he would like to do with this newfound ability. At first, Tim thought using it for money or fame would do but his father objected. Tim then told his father that he would be happy if the ability could help him get a girlfriend. That summer, Charlotte, Catherine's, Tim's sister's boyfriend's cousin, he agreed, but not hurriedly, and he gently helped her. On Charlotte's last night with the family, Tim decided to approach her and let her know about his feelings but Charlotte said she wished he had opened up earlier and not on the last night. With this info, Tim went outside and traveled back in time to the day before the incident at the garden. He asked Charlotte out again. She said that he should creep around the corner and ask her out again on her last night. Tim realized that Charlotte didn't like him and that time travel could not change it. The second day, Tim left home for London. He stayed with his dad's playwright friend called Harry, and Tim worked as a lawyer. On a particular night, Tim and Jay, Tim's friend, went to a restaurant where Tim met Mary. They flirted in the dark, and afterward, Mary gave Tim her phone number. Tim returned home to find Harry beside himself. The opening night of his new play had been completely ruined by an actor who forgot his lines. Tim went back in time to put things right, and the play turned out to be a success. Tim then tried to call Mary, but he realized that by going back in time to help Harry, his evening with Mary never occurred and he wouldn't be able to reach her. Worried. Tim continued to think of how to find her until he recalled Mary's obsession with Kate Moss. He continued to go to Kate Moss's exhibition, but he couldn't find Mary at first until after a week when Mary came to the exhibition. However, Mary couldn't remember him, and he discovered that she now has a boyfriend. Tim asked Mary where she met her boyfriend, and Joanna, Mary's friend, gave him the details. Tim traveled back in time to the party where Mary and her new boyfriend met, turning up early before the potential boyfriend arrived and persuaded Mary to leave with him instead. They went to a restaurant together and began their relationship. Afterward, Tim moved in with Mary. One night, Tim went to the theater with his friend and colleague named Rory. After the movie, Tim saw Charlotte and walked over to him to say hi. Charlotte introduced Tim to her girlfriend, Tina, whom Tim thought was gay. He let out his thought on how he was heartbroken when Charlotte turned him down, but he wasn't aware that she was gay. 
Charlotte and Tina gave him a weird look which messed up the situation. Tim quickly traveled back in time to when he went over to say hi to Charlotte. But again, the conversation became messed up when he told Charlotte to be careful of using the word girlfriend as people will think she's gay. Tina gave him a weird look and said she's gay. Again, Tim traveled back in time to when the film just ended. He decided to avoid Charlotte instead, but luck wasn't on Tim's side as she saw him on their way out and came over to say hi. She invited him over to dinner at a restaurant the same night. After he walked her home, Tim finds out that Charlotte is interested in him, but he turned her down as he realized that he was in love with Mary. He proposed to Mary and she accepted. He took her home to meet his parents and he announced their marriage and the baby they were expecting. They got married and had a daughter, Posey. On Posey's first birthday, the family gathered to celebrate her and waited for Catherine to arrive, but she did not come home. Jimmy, Catherine's boyfriend, came over and Tim went to open the door expecting that it would be Catherine, only to find Jimmy who thought that Catherine would be at the gathering. He told Tim that they had an argument earlier and she rushed off, but he had already told her to meet him at the birthday party. Catherine had a car crash on her way to the party because she was drunk. Not happy with Catherine's condition in the hospital, Tim traveled back in time to prevent the crash and he brought Catherine to the party. He noticed that Catherine was not happy. He told her about the secret of him having the ability to travel in time and he traveled back in time with Catherine to help her avert her unhappy relationship with Jimmy. They returned to the present and Tim found out by going back in time to help Catherine, Posey was never born and he had a son instead. James explained that they cannot change events before their children's birth and ensure that the exact child will still be conceived. Tim accepted that he could not change his sister's life by changing her past, and so he traveled back in time to allow the crash to occur, ensuring Posey's birth, and he and Mary helped Catherine face her problems to improve her own life. Catherine started a relationship with Jay, settled down with him, and they had a child of their own while Tim and Mary had another child, a baby boy. Tim's mother called Tim to tell him about his father's terminal illness, cancer. James told Tim that time travel could not change the situation. As going back far enough would undo his relationships with his wife, Tim and Catherine, something he wasn't willing to do. Tim found that his father had known for some time and he always traveled back in time to effectively extend his life and spend more time with his family. He told Tim to live each day twice to be truly happy, at first, with all the everyday tensions and worries, but the second time, noticing how sweet the world can be. Tim followed this advice after his father's death, but still travels to the past to see his father whenever he misses him. Mary told Tim that she wanted a third child. He was reluctant at first because it meant that he would not be able to visit his father again. Tim decided to visit his father for the last time when Mary was very heavy with the baby. He told his father about the situation and that he could not visit anymore. James suggested that they travel back in time to Tim's childhood and together they traveled back to relive a fond memory from Tim's early childhood. Mary gave birth to a baby girl. Tim knows that he could never see his father again. Tim realized that it is better to live each day once. He decided from that point not to time travel at all and to appreciate life with his family as if he was living it for the second time. All right, guys, we have come to the end of About Time Movie Recap. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more movie recap. Make sure to always check in on Riveted for more exciting and detailed movie recap. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.